Welcome back. I'm Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter here at the Tef Tamarack Cafe and Diner at the corner of Knob Hill and McNabb. I can never, for some reason, never remember that. Never comes out smoothly. <laughs> I'm here with Andrea Bas. <laughs> you know, I don't do it for you. <laughs> I'm human. I make mistakes. You're not going to edit us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is, that is the editing. That's it. <laughs> Um, he tells me he can edit it, and then he doesn't. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> I'm here with Andrea Basada, who's the director of the Elderly and Veteran Services Department of Broward County. Um, you can view these these uh, videos on YouTube at uh, YouTube slash Stacy Ritter and the number three, or the Broward County my Broward County website Broward dot org slash Stacy Ritter, and they'll go in other places too. I think that all you have to do is Google my name, and you'll find something about me somewhere. <laughs> we're we um we're talking about we talked about elder veteran services briefly in the beginning, and then mm -hmm. we talked about elderly services, and now we're going to talk about something else that your division department does. You call it a department or division? Division. Division. Mm -hmm. Behavioral health, and we were talking about that when we when we stopped the second segment. So yes. let's pick up on beha behavioral health. Um, this service, like just like the community care for the elderly, is for people 60 years of age or older, and it focuses on behavioral health, mental health, and substance abuse issues. And it's it's we really, were saying that we don't we don't usually associate people don't it, it's really an, an overlooked area in in, in in senior care, and so we have again an entire section of uh, 30 case managers who focus solely on this. And now are these th separate from the elderly yes. case managers? Yes. So are they also social workers? Yes. Okay. They're social workers, and then there's one team is strictly substance abuse specialists. And uh, they also provide forensic support when they have clients who have to go to court. They they help them with that as well. So we have one whole team that does nothing but forensic support with with people who have to go to court. Well, now what is forensic support? What does that mean? Uh, they will they'll testify at hearings if they need to okay. on the client's condition and treatment plans and that sort of thing. Yeah. So they go to court. Do you find these client? Do you find this clientele through some of the substance abuse centers, or do they come to other nonprofits, or do they come to us first? I and mean, how does somebody find? So an older person who's in need of help find the help that that person needs? Uh, a lot of them are referred to us from the Aging and Disability Resource Center. Their elder help line is really the hub okay. of, of contact for everyone. Uh, we also get referrals from the Department of Children and Families. We get referrals from their Adult Protective Services. And we also then the courts themselves will contact us. The judges and their staff will actually contact us directly for assistance. Also, local hospitals. Uh, some of the substance abuse staff are actually outstationed at several hospitals. So they're there on site. And so if someone's brought into the emergency room who's a senior and presents with any of these issues, our case manager's called in to assist right away. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't think most people knew. I mean, that just blows me yeah. away. The, the thing that when I go to, I tell people all the time, when I go to Florida Association mm -hmm. of Counties conferences throughout the state and I meet with other county commissioners and we talk about what our counties do, I'm always so pleasantly surprised and delighted to be able to share with them what Broward County does for is residents that unfortunately most Broward County residents don't even know about. Right. The services yeah. that the county offers, I get people all the time who email me, you know, why do I pay so much in taxes? And and most of them don't know where the money goes. And right. one of the reasons we're doing this is to let people know where their tax dollars go. Do you do you find outpatient or inpatient facilities for these substance these older substance abusers? Yep, absolutely. And do they are, do they come to our facility like our our, our like Bark, they might go to Bark if it, if that's applicable, or we'll find we might find a center that's that's more conducive to seniors if that's applicable, or depending on their particular situation, however and best that works. Are there service? Are there centers that are more senior directed? That some have senior programs, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Does Bark have a senior program? I, I'm not sure if they do. Okay, I think it's I more. It's just general community. General, yeah, general, general. community. We're, we're here, and, and I don't know if I if I mentioned we're here with Andrew Basada, who's the division director of the Elderly and Veteran Services Depart Division Division here mm -hmm. in Brad County. She's fairly new to this division in September, mm -hmm. but she's been with Brad County Paratransit for 10 years, and we've had Chris Walton come and talk to us about oh, Paratransit, and we could have spent all day talking about oh, Paratransit. Oh, sure. Tell us, and again, these pamphlets, for anybody who, uh, who wants a pamphlet, and Norma, we're going to make sure you get these pamphlets. Norma's Thank with you. us. She just joined us. She was having coffee with the ladies. Great coffee with the ladies. Um, <laughs> This is, uh, you can, and, and if you want this pamphlet, you can call the office at 954-357-7003. That's my office. How do they get in touch with your office, Andrea? It's 954-357-6622. And anything that you, if you, if you have issues, if you think that you're in need of, of um, services from this from this division, call us. Like you call Andrea directly. Absolutely. Call Norma, right? You'll take care of people. Love to. Say beautiful.
beautiful. Yeah, she is such a York. She's such a New Yorker. Um, Andrea, thanks so much. You're welcome. Any wrap up? Anything that we didn't get to that you want to talk about? We talked about. We, we briefly touched on veteran services. Mm -hmm. um, the important thing about veteran our veteran services is that's not just for the elderly. We That's are here to assist any veteran of any age, and not just veterans, but also their families and their dependents. They can come to us for assistance and, at any time. And it is, it's not just financial, it's not just paperwork and, and mm -hmm. getting benefits. You, do, you, do you do psychological counseling with veterans, or do you find, because you're social workers, mm -hmm. or do you find places to treat veterans? I know there's a VA clinic right yes. around the corner. And one here. of our officers is actually located there. The officers are located clinic. throughout the county. And uh, yeah, we not only do they help them with their with the, the paperwork part of it and helping them get their benefits, but they, they do the assessments as well, just like we do for the for our other clients, to see if there's any other services that they need. Uh, some of them might need, if they're 60 or older, they might need and, and qualify for some of our other programs. We also, they our veterans officers also work closely with the Urban League, with uh, Legal Aid, and with Workforce One, if they have employment issues or legal issues any of that any of that kind of thing that we'll help them if we don't have to provide the service ourselves we'll, find we'll hook them up with someone who does and a lot of these services um, cross over you know you're just not eligible for one Absolutely. service you can be eligible for multiple services Absolutely. here Broward County through the same division yes. so especially this one Thanks for You're being welcome. here this morning. Andrew does an amazing job. Her staff does an amazing job. The PowerPoint presentation you gave us two weeks ago, I know you said you were nervous. <laughs> it didn't show. Thank it you. It was really amazing. And if you are a veteran out there and you'd like to see this PowerPoint presentation, again, you can contact my office or Andrea, and we will be happy to electronically send it to you or send it to you uh, via uh, with a hard copy because Absolutely. the services that are provided and the things that this division does, this department within this division does, are truly outstanding, as are most of the things that we do in Broward County. Absolutely. And one of the reasons we're doing this is so people can know what we're doing, because you won't get it always in what you read in the paper or the blog. So yes. thanks again for being here, thank Andrea. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll be back next month with another Coffee with Stacy.